everybody, welcome to My Little Paintbrush. My name is Miss Cami, and I'm thrilled that you're here today because we are going to outer space with this painting. And it has a lot of opportunity for you to get creative and decorate your planets however you want. So get ready for some fun. Before we start though, I wanna remind you that you can pause this video, you can rewind this, you can fast forward. So please do not feel like you have to keep up with me. I'm going to keep a pretty steady pace, but you should not feel rushed as you're creating. So take your time and do what's necessary to just relax and enjoy the process. All right, let's dive in. I am going to grab a medium to large flat, whatever you have around. If you're a smaller artist, this is going to be a big brush for you. Um, so let's start with this one and we'll call it our large flat, okay? All right, here's my palette. Super fun today, very spacey. So let's start with our big orange planet or it can be whatever color you want it to be. I'm gonna scoop up some white, bring it over to my orange and mix together some orange and white. I want to keep some of my dark orange, so I don't want to mix all of my orange with this white, but I want to mix a good amount. When I have a nice light orange, I'm going to start to fill in this planet here. And of course, these are circles, which can be a bit challenging, but just hang on and stick with it. Do your very best pressing those bristles like so to get a nice clean edge. Now the reason we're not starting with our background first is because our background is black. So this gives us the opportunity to go outside of our lines and not feel too stressed, overwhelmed, or worried about that because our background is going to clean it right up. Okay, so that's why we started um, with our planets and not our background. Okay, so let's just fill this in. Great time to wrap your edges. So be sure to do that as you go. I'm a big fan of wrapping the edge of my canvas because uh, I just feel like it seems more complete that way and it gives you more options of displaying it if it's nice and wrapped. Notice I did not fill in that little tiny spot. We don't want to fill that in, right? I've got that ring going around. So now that the base coat is in there, I'm going to dip half of my brush in this darker orange, okay? just like that. And I'm going to take that dark edge of my brush and I'm going to go around my planet, the inner portion of my planet. Okay. This will give it nice amount of shading and it really does add so much. Now you might be a little bit of a younger artist. This can be super challenging for you. I would just say, do your best, okay? Give it a shot, try it out. Okay, so we're done with that. I'm going to wash my brush really, really well. Because we're gonna jump between colors here. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into this ring and I'm just going to add a teeny bit of white to my yellow. Okay. I like to add bits, bits of white almost every color I use. And the reason for that is white is super, super pigmented and will help us avoid lots of layers 
because it will give us good coverage because of how much pigment is in it. So now that I have that ring, before I move on, a little bit of white, and I'm going to highlight the top of the ring here. And this can be as dramatic of a highlight as you want it to be. I just want to have the glowing effect. Kind of got into my orange a bit. So I might come through here. Clean that up just a little. You know these things happen. It's important that we are kind to ourselves when they do happen. Here we go. So we've got one planet pretty much done, you guys. I'm gonna wash my brush out really good. All right, now let's jump into our turquoise planet. For me, it's turquoise anyway. You may have gone with a different color. I'm gonna scoop up white over here. Give myself a nice light turquoise. Okay, now orange and blue um, on the color wheel are complementary colors, which means they look super good next to each other. However, if they mix, they mud. So make sure you have a nice clean brush. And if you see some orange come through, Stop what you're doing and go wash your brush. Okay, so filling in my turquoise planet here. Also be super careful as you come to the edge of this planet, knowing that these two colors will mud if they get too close to each other. Will help you be aware of that as you're getting close. Okay, so I've got that one filled in. Same thing, I'm gonna go into some darker turquoise here, quarter of my brush, and I'm just going to follow my planet. And I'm also gonna go right along this edge because my guess is my orange planet slash balloon is casting a shadow right there. So I'm going to shadow that. And then come all the way around with it. Just like so. How cool is that? Now, we're going to keep going here. A little more turquoise. And let's go ahead and do some fun little uh, stripes, but we're going to bend them slightly because this is a circle, right? So we're going to bend them slightly like so. As we go up here. Oh, this one doesn't really want to bend. There we go. So one there. And of course, again, if you go out of your um, planet a little bit, this line isn't as dark, there we go. Remember, this is going to be black, so it's going to be okay. So we're just going to keep going up and up and up, bending each stripe slightly until we get to the top. Just like that. Wow. Okay, I'm going to kind of just mix my light, my brush back into my light turquoise, and then I'm going to dip some of that in white. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to lighten um, between these lines. So kind of like underneath the dark one, I'm going to pull in a highlight. Okay, that way it's really bright and fun. 
and those stripes really come through and tell their story, okay? All right, you guys, washing my brush again, lots of washing. Okay, now I wanna make a gray color for my gray planet. So I am going to scoop up some white. I wanna save quite a bit of white right there and keep it clean. And then I'm just gonna mix a bit of black with this pile here. Don't want it to get too dark. And be careful because that black is powerful and it can get away from you real quickly. Once we have a nice gray, I'm just going to fill in my last balloon planet here. Really careful as I come around these other fun planets that I'm finished with. I don't want to mess up all of my hard work. That would be awfully sad. Okay, so we've got the gray on there. Now we're going to dip our brush in just black and go around the edge. So just that little bit of black on your brush will kind of turn a bit grayish. It'll just be a little bit more on the charcoal side because our planet is wet and as we blend that in, that's going to happen. Okay, so you've got all that light gray on your brush and then just a bit of the black. And I want to be super careful right here to end before I get into that. And then I'm just going to, again, do a bit of a shadow right there underneath my bright orange planet. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. Make sure everything's nice and blended in. And we'll let this planet here have a bit of a break. Oh, I think I need to re-blend that in. There we go. Oh, I keep losing it. Keep messing with it and it keeps going. We can shadow right there if we wanted to. Okay, let's give that planet a break. Wash our brush out. Give it a nice, really nice wash, okay? And now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna paint my astronaut white because my surface is white. If you feel the need to do that though, you can totally go ahead and do it. I'm gonna leave it and I'm just going to add some white to my brush and some of this light gray. And I'm just gonna kind of go around and scuff up my robot, or not my robot, have I been saying robot? My astronaut um, with some gray. So I assume this guy or girl has been working hard in space and wouldn't have the perfect uniform here. So I'm just going to take that gray and I'm just going to blend it in places. See how it's it's super subtle, but it is going to play a big part in our overall piece here. So this is just little bits of that light gray with some white on your brush. And you can make it as obvious or as subtle as you want it to be. Um, 
this little part back here. Just keep working it. Blend it in with some white. Okay. Given our painting some character, our character some character. It's super important. Again, if we go outside of our designated quote unquote lines, we gotta keep in mind that our background will be black. I'm gonna scuff up here a little bit. Okay, so really all over, just add little Little touches like, hey, this guy's been busy, right? Busy in space. Okay. Perfect. All right, I'm going to give that a wash. And I'm going to come back to my gray planet, and I'm going to add some circles, okay? So I'm going to load with my light gray again and a touch of black, and I'm gonna pull that black through a few times to make sure it's not too strong. Okay, and then I'm going to choose where I want these circles to be, and I'm gonna to start to put them in. You can see I just press on my brush and then go all the way around, okay? Now these should be different sizes. You shouldn't have them all the same, so have fun with it, okay? If one gets super dark like this one, just load with that light gray, come back to it, and lighten it up, okay? See how I just kind of press my brush and spin, okay? Do a smaller one right here. These are so fun. Super fun to put in. There we go. Look at it, it's just coming along, so fun. Okay, now I'm gonna do my background. Now you can do it with the flat we've been using the whole time, which is a good size brush, especially like I said, for our little artist, but I have one that's slightly bigger, and that's what I'm gonna to use to cover my surface, okay? So a little bit of water, of course, put that black paint on there, and then we're just going to start with our astronauts um, shield, helmet. I can't think of my words right now, I lost it. Anyway, his face covering here is where we're going to start. Be careful with this step, okay? It is black. You can't take it back. <laughs> Once it's on there, it's on there. So if you need to slow down a bit, slow down a bit. Don't feel the rush, okay? So that's done. Now we're just going to fill in the rest of our canvas. We're gonna make sure we wrap our canvas around the edges. I'm going to start just generously applying this throughout the main portions of my background. And then when I get close to my planets and to my astronaut, I'll slow down. But to start, I'm just going to really focus on getting the paint on my surface. Now, the thing with black is it can be a real battle um, if your paint isn't thinned out and if you're not loading your brush really good. So keep those two things in mind. Otherwise, you're going to kind of fight those small pockets that like to give us all a headache <laughs> when we're painting. Okay, so you can see as I get close, I'm gonna slow down. Okay, I'm gonna slow down my brush stroke as I come up close to 
all these fun elements in my painting. Because if I get too fast, I'm going to lose them. And I won't be able to get them back because I'm using this black paint. And they will be gone. Okay, so slow down. Obviously, great opportunity to clean up. You know, if you went outside of your, um, if you went outside of your planets when you were doing them, you know, this is great cleanup time. However, if we aren't careful, we will clean up way too much and we'll lose all of our painting. So we're going to take our time and as much time as it takes to get a good result, okay? All right, let's come up here. Now I'm kind of um, stuck painting in a certain position because of the cameras and everything at home or when I'm creating off, off camera, I do move my canvas quite a bit. So if you feel like you're just in a super uncomfortable position and you can't quite reach or maneuver in the areas you want to, um, flip your flip your canvas around. Put it upside down, put it on its side, really anything. There is absolutely no problem with that. In fact, you should. You shouldn't try to reach things that are uncomfortable. It will actually cause injury. People always laugh at me when I say that, but you can get injured with the wrong posture when you are creating. Just trying to finish up my background here. And keep as many circles as I can. Okay, I think we did it. I'm gonna wash this big brush out. Actually, I'm gonna highlight real quick this helmet, I think. So I'm gonna use my big brush again, put some white on it, or black, and then dip it in some white like this. And I'm gonna come around the base. I'm gonna put this smiley face, which that one didn't show up as well, so I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so just along the base, here to highlight down there. Now I want to have a little bit of black still showing at the bottom right here. So I don't want to cover all that, but I do want there to be a bit of a reflection happening right down there, okay? I'm having to do this a few times because I've got a glare on my painting and I can't really see what I'm doing. I think I've almost got it. So you see how we've kind of done this big smiley face 
right? But we've left some black right there. Maybe I need a bit of water. Always check for water when you can't get the result that you want. So let's try this again. There we go. Much smoother. Water is a real help. All right, now I'm gonna wash my brush. Swish, swish. You can hear it just going. Okay. Now I'm gonna to go to a detail brush. That's the smallest brush you have. I'm gonna put black paint on it. I'm gonna loosen it up with water. Make sure it's nice and loose. I'm going to go to this gray planet first, and I like to just do these little additional designs. I don't, I don't outline it at all. I'm just kind of going around it, around the circle. Just barely though. Like that. And I don't like that those two are touching at all. So I'm going to just go into my light gray. This is a great opportunity for you guys to see fixing things is no big deal. I'm going to come through and I'm just going to put a layer of light gray around there. Just like so. And let it dry. And then I'll go back and do one that's not touching. Okay, so let's go back to our black. Load that up. And we're going to come around and do some fun things and put in the details of our astronaut here. Starting with that cute hand that will be holding our balloons, right? And I'll come down here and fill this in. I've got some fun lines up here. So this is just black paint and your detail brush. And brushes are all about pressure. More pressure is going to give you a thick line. Less pressure will give you a thinner line. All right, now let's come down here. Put in our arm. We've got a little backpack right here. Well, it looks like a backpack. I'm sure there's a special term for that, special name for it. Put in these lines here. And the great thing about this is you can go right into your background when you're doing these lines because your background is black. Okay, now we're going to go around this square here, or rectangle rather. kind of goes off your canvas just like there there we go now I'll come back up to this planet that I didn't like how it turned out and I will add there all right so I'm gonna wash my brush okay and I'm going to go back to my medium size flat here. It's just stamp. I'm going to put a little bit of white on it. I'm going to go through and add some fun highlight inside these little circles. So this planet has a lot happening. But that's okay because the other ones pretty basic so this one is 
just a little bit more fun and exciting, lots more details. And like I said before, you can do it however you want. So if your background is nice and dry, you can go ahead and put some white on your detail brush. And we're just going to create those little knots at the bottom of our balloons. Okay, now I'm putting these in with white first so that when I go to put in the orange or the turquoise, it's not competing so much with my black background, okay? So that's why I'm gonna put it in white first, okay? And while we have white on here, I'm going to put in some highlights in my two colorful planets. On this side, I'm gonna do a nice big one that's just gonna come around and then I'm gonna press my brush. See that? You just press at the end of your stroke and you get a nice shape there. Okay, so I'll highlight that one. I'm gonna do the same brush stroke on this one. I'm gonna come around my planet and then press as I get towards the top. Then you can come through and you can kind of just clean it up a little bit if you want. Okay, so you've got your, your two highlights there. And now we're gonna make sure our astronaut has a couple as well. Just on this side though, and very similar brush stroke. We're gonna come around and then we're gonna press um, and then press just like that. We want a nice chunky reflection of light here coming off of his black. And then we're going to do a little square that follows it up. Look at that. Look how fun this is. Okay, now we're gonna do our little string coming off of our balloons. Of course, he's holding, he or she is holding our balloons here. Okay, so we're just gonna come off here with white paint. And his, um, He's white, right? His outfit, his uniform is white. So we don't really have to worry about going through and making it look like he's holding them because it's gonna be white. But you can have fun with these. There we go. I love this painting so much. Okay, let's, I'm not even gonna wash my brush. I'm gonna go right to my orange here and I'm going to put in that base, that little knot there. So you can see that white really helps. I'm going to wash my brush. I'm going to do my little turquoise one. Same thing. I have to just make a little bit more light turquoise come in here. that one. Of course we have one more. That's our fun gray planet here. Might darken that up a little bit. Because the edge of this planet is much darker, so there we go. Fabulous. Take some of my light gray, 
touch up a little bit where I made some adjustments here. Okay, now we are ready for our stars. These are super easy. We're just going to use the bottom of our brush, any size you want, and we're just going to start to put these in. Now the trick to stars looking like stars and not like falling snow is to cluster some of them together and have some of them kind of off by themselves. Okay? So that's what you need to do. And of course you want different sizes throughout your painting, but you can see some of them I just kind of put together and some I don't. And just have fun with it, but obviously don't overstar because you don't want to lose sight of who this painting is all about and what it's all about. We don't want to get too crazy with our stars. Okay, I think that we are ready for a signature. So I'm gonna grab my detail brush and I'm gonna go into my white paint right here. Before I sign, I'm just gonna highlight the base with my little knots in the balloon. And then I'm going to come right here and sign my name. And that's it, you guys. We just painted a super fun astronaut in space together. I hope you enjoyed this painting. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Also, send me your photos. I'd love to see your painting and how it turned out. And I can't wait to paint with you again. Hopefully, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.